there is public outcry over the arraignment of young boys, 13, 14, 15, in court. Minors have been arraigned in court. According to reports, they were arrested by Tunugu's government at the just concluded end bad governance protest. 13, 14, 15 years old, they were arrested and they were locked up somewhere, over 30 of them, until one of them collapsed right there at the courthouse. And it has attracted national outrage and outcry on Tunubu's government. Now, people are shocked at this. They have not seen this before. When I was young, I was arrested. I was in secondary school, I was arrested. I was docked. They used money, money to bail me as a young person. I was arrested. I remember as a minor. I was barely 14, 15. When I was arrested, I was taken to the station. So this is not the first time. That, this is like 20 years ago. So don't be shocked at what can happen in this kind of government. For the fact that you have decided not to take actions. You have decided to sit down and say nothing concerns me. And do nothing about it. You, you get more of this. Don't blame Tunubu because Tunubu, like I told you, I got arrested as a minor. So it's a common practice for these policemen to arrest this young, this 13, 14, 15 year old, arrest them and go lock them up somewhere, tells a lot about what a government can do, what a typical Nigerian government can do. I see people are saying that Tunubu must go. Tunubu is not going anywhere. You are all locked up in this menace. You all created this system. You refuse to support movement that is going to change the status quo. Most people that come out, come out, when a particular lady, Sarah Ibrahim, her name is Sarah Ibrahim, she's an activist, October 30th, uh, August 30th, these young boys have been in custody, I believe, according to the report, for August, September, October, over two months. So the Tunubu government arrested these 13, 14, 15 year olds and locked them up for over two or three months. There's a certain lady, her name is Sarah Ibrahim, I repeat, Sarah Ibrahim. She says, I have name of 37 young people. These are people that are 13, 14 year olds, 15 year olds that were arrested by the Tunubu led government because of them participating in the end bad governance protests. Yes. These ones, this lady made a revelation and guess what? Some Yoruba Ronu and conservatives, some Southwesterners came under the tweet and said she was lying. She was making a blunder. It's a lie, it's a lie, this is a lie. It's a lie. Now it has been revealed. What will those people, what will they say now? What will the government say? What will these blind supporters of President Baba Metumbu say? Just like when bandits attacked the train going to Abuja from Kaduna, when a certain Dr. Chinelo died, was, was complained that sh shots were fired and this and that. Shots were fired. Nigerians, Nigerians, because she has an ego name, they believe that she, she was making it up. They mocked her until she died. And most of them were from the Southwest. You can see the wickedness that we are talking about, about people. A lady raised an alarm, Sarah Ibrahim, that yes, so there are 37 young people, 13, 14, 15 year olds, that have been arrested by the government and locked up somewhere. Some people came under that tweet and said they, she was lying, that she can't find something to do. Nigerians, evil at heart. Evil at heart. Now, the news is different today. The video is flying left, right, and center. One of the reasons why I may not be able to play that video on YouTube is because of their uh, community guidelines. That's why I may not, be, may not be able to play that video. But as you look on social media, you get to see TVC posted that video, and after some time, they deleted it. Why did they delete it? You know, TVC is a darling to the government. Why did they delete it? Because they know that it is a stain on Tunubu's government. You see, if you still, if you you uh, come to power by corruption, 
by illegality. If you build your foundation on illegality, you cannot prosper. Some things will readily happen to you that would tarnish your administration. There's nothing you can do about that. That is, these are principles of life. Whether it's Yoruba Ibo, there is a morale. That's morality. Omoloabi knows this. You cannot snatch, grab it, and run away with it and expect your government not to have so many f setbacks. This should have been avoided by Tunubu's government because you don't blame Tunubu for this. This is the normal practice. I told you about my story. So this is the normal practice. So nobody should come and be saying Tunubu must go. No. So many other governments would have done the same. In the war, they did the same. Is it not the Nigerian government? It is their stock in trade. You, 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 you arrested 13, 14, year olds. You lock them up. And you bring them to court to try them. One of them collapsed. Why did he collapse? Probably hunger. You starve people that, wow, the, f the future of tomorrow. These people that are in power, if you were their age and they did this to you, what would you say? If this was done to your children, because they are protesting, you know that, you know that they are children. They are not up to age 18 or 21. They are children. You know that they might be influenced if you are having allegations against them. They might be influenced, but you went on to carry out this dastard act against them. And mostly they are northerners. International communities are watching. People of repute are, are watching. Everybody is watching what Nigeria is doing. After all our foreign trips go back and forth, we have not been able to land a serious investment from a foreign body. If not, we cut and join. China this tomorrow, Bill Gates this next tomorrow, we cut it, we sow it and join. We promise. Okay, China, we, China will promise to invest in Nigeria and they now put it, China invests in Nigeria. Something that they promise you that is not even sure. It's an ISO. When we talk about a system that works, this system cannot work. Let me tell you, for those that still believe that Tinubu can do something to Nigeria, see, don't waste your time. Oh. Don't waste your time. I told people, I'm not a prophet, I'm not a spiritualist, but before, when Naira, under Buhari, when Naira was a, a little above 300, I told people that Naira is going to get to 1.5. See, 2,000. Listen to me. Naira is going to get to 2,000. I told people that the petrol will not never and ever come down. Old men, old men that have children that, that would say they are wise. And they're advising their children. Old men could not understand what was going on. They were blasting me. Say that, Omo Ibo, you don't like uh, Nigeria. You're not praying for Nigeria. Blah, blah, blah. You, you're ignorant of how all these things work. If they tell you to explain what happens when they talk about Dangote, the marketers, and NMPC, give us a brief explanation of what is happening. These old men will not. They don't, they don't have the get-go. I looked at it. I told them that Dangote refinery does not necessarily mean that price of petrol will come down. Now they are shocked. They cannot say anything again. People without vision. I have said it over and over again that there are people that you don't give voters card. Voters card is not meant for some people. They cannot make good decisions. Most people from the north and southwest don't need a voters card because they cannot make good decisions or they intentionally want to make bad decisions. So that's because of tribalism and religion. Now you see somebody from the north is threatening President Baba Metunubu that we are we are counting, we are the north to remember rubbish. Remember what are you remembering? Remembering what are you remembering? And a, a, a largely unproductive region, you bring in feudal system of governance into democracy, and you think it's going to work. You select leaders that are greedy, wicked, and corrupt. To man your region, and you think it's going to work? They use religion to suppress your right to choose a credible and better leader. They tell you protest is haram. Okay, those that say protest is haram, what are these children doing? These are mainly from the north and many Muslims. The clerics in the north, all the fundamentalists, the Fulanis and Islamic, whatever. Now, protest is haram. Why is it that these children are involved in protest? 
Why are you lying to your people and your region? Why are you deceiving them? Why don't you tell them the truth? Zamfara, that adopted Sharia law is one of the most backward states in Nigeria. Look at what Saudi Arabia is doing. They are being, they are, they are, they are, they are critically looking at things. You took the mindset of somebody that was in the Stone Age, the mindset of a person, a prophet in the Stone Age, and you are using to this a vis metamorphose with what is happening today. You see, protest is around. Is Nigeria a Muslim country? That you are telling your people because Buhari was in power, you people decided to use religion for excuse and everything. When there's no power with in the north, the north start crying foul. Don't blame Tunubu. Buhari did worse to IPB members. 150 were killed. Buhari did much, much worse. People that were unarmed, that were just placards. No wonder why you say uh, security operatives will come to somebody's house and that person will get missing. No trace of that person. Maybe that person will be killed. That's how people are missing here, left, right, and center. And you tell us that Nigeria can get better. The blood of the people that are being miss are being killed unjustly on Nigerian soil is speaking more than ever before. The leader of those children is speaking more than ever before. Your policy, the policy of the government, impoverished these children and their parents, made them hungry. Because of the rights that God has given to them, they came out to protest. And you arrested them and took them somewhere to lock them up and also starve them. Because if not for starvation, why would somebody collapse? Why would somebody collapse? Look at how they are looking. Why would somebody collapse? The video is an eyesore and is a point against Tinubu's administration. Tinubu may have, there's no one that doesn't have good intention. That's politics. Worry had good intention. Yeradua had good intention, Jonathan had good intention, Obasanjo had good intention. So Tunubu also has good intention. So don't gaslight us with that Tunubu has good intention. He may have good intention, but you cannot build your governance on the blood of people. You do, cannot steal somebody's mandate and expect you to prosper. That's why our presidents have not been prospering over the years. Yaradua came out and said that this thing that brought me is flawed though. And see the impact he made. Every other person is striving on illegality to prove a point. I've told you, if you are supporting somebody because of tribe and religion, my brother, eh? You you don't need to be. Well, you are a black man. You are a black man, so I'm not shocked that a black man will behave like a black person. Just like one lawmaker, Abino, was calling his fellow black man black monkey have the reason somebody who is a leader who is supposedly supposedly elected into a position the things that are happening behind closed doors if it is revealed my brother nigeria will not remain one week nigeria will not remain one week if whatever that is happening behind closed door hmm, is revealed just this one people are shouting clamoring a true must go you just realized that you need to fight for your country. You just realized. See, you are dunce and goats. And they will continue to treat you like what you are until you liberate your mind. People are afraid to stand for what they believe in. Some people, the people that even uh, say I'm an activist, they are doing so to please people. They are doing so not because there's a conviction and they are willing to stand by that, that conviction. They are doing so for an opportunity to get... Look at Bianca Ojuku. What does she want? What does she really want? Is she poor? Or what, she, does she, what relevant does she want from the Nigerian government and whatever that is the post that she's giving what does she want let, let, let her tell us what she really really wants but you see people just come out and do things and you think they they are okay enjoy the government not on us stop threatening to nubu Tunubu is going nowhere he's completing eight years he goes are not interested in governance you know where our focus is nobody's going to have alliance with you if you like go and have alliance with Asari Dukubo. That's your problem. You people are paperweights. You don't have any say 
in this government. I'm not supporting Tinubu. I can never support Tinubu because I know Tinubu would be a disaster to Nigerians and Nigeria as a country. And at the end of the day, it's going to give leverage and credence to the fact that we need to go regional and also probably balkanize the country. Whatever that is going to help, whether it is a shoe or angel, whether it's the devil that is going, God is going to use to bring Biafra, let him use. Whether it's an angel, God is going to use to bring Biafra, let him use. What I know is that any which ways, Biafra is going to come. The system has to change for things to get better. If you want to think that there is hope, I, Biafra says that she believes that Nigeria can work. And she's going to work for President Bola Metunubu's government. They, they were waiting for her to make that statement. And that's show, to show you how petty those that are. Because when you get involved in leadership, in the Nigerian leadership system, you are a suspect. You have been infected by the disease of Nigerian leadership. These people are manipulators. These people are liars. These people, they, they are wicked. These people, propagandists, they talk from two sides of their mouth. There's nothing. Tulubu is not bothered by what you are saying online. You are blasting, you are blabbing. Tulubu is not bothered. He knows that the people that matter, the people that matter, he has them in his hands. The people that matter. If he, you do anyhow, he show you anyhow. Lagbaja that is being replaced by another Yoruba man. Don't go and think that the North has a plan to remove that Labaja. Don't think that one. No, that one does not work. A Yoruba man is not there, and another Yoruba man is replaced because that post is strategic for President Bola Metunubu to keep himself. That eight years, see, you people don't know how this man is desperate to stay in power for eight years. If he has to be that Nigeria's divide eh? for him not to become president for eight years he will make it if it's even have to do with nigeria dividing he will make nigeria divide for those that have ears listen very well look for things that are moral and begin to build your convictions on it look for models that have morality in them. Begin to build your convictions around them. Don't listen to people that are hypocrites, that are evil, that are corrupt. Don't listen to people. So that a righteous man does is not afraid to die. So when I see Nigerians are afraid to die, squat and protest and do this and do that. I just know that they are just the same as their leaders. You are afraid to die for what you believe in. You are the same as the person you want to initially protest against. Tumbu is even much more better than most Nigerians. The fruit does not fall far from the tree. We deserve the leaders we get because the leaders come from us and they are a part of our ecosystem. Some people will do worse than what is happening with this. Look at ordinary rep. Look at what they are, they are clamoring to do. I'll make I'll, 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 you, I'll 50 million era you miss just an ordinary rep, not talk of a president. And you think this will send you? They have built fortress, they have built walls around themselves. You are over there, the, the elites are inside, they enjoy Nigeria. The police, the security of uh, operatives are surrounded that wall. If they like, they will throw crumbs at you. If they like, they will throw rice. 25,000 naira be given to 20 million Nigerians. They just throw 25,000 to you. They are there getting fresh. I was with some of these guys some few days ago and I saw how fresh, how good looking. They are not bothered whether it doesn't affect them. While you are there killing yourself, and uh, even uh, uh, Tibito Big Baba, blah blah blah, that is uh, because of tribalism. The North will not learn the lesson. Uh, and the North can never remember anything for Tunubu. Tunubu is going to complete his eight years. And if you if you don't like, say we don't want again because Tunubu knows that the North would not want Nigeria to divide. That's where he's holding them. The more reasons why we will not release Namde Kanu because he's using Namde Kanu as a bargaining chip, bargaining card 
to control the knots. Nam the Kanosoni go, whoever. He knows that Asari Jokubo is no more relevant. That's why his focus is if the not do any harm, let them say they want to divide. We are we are okay. He's busy, 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 busy building the the West, especially Lagos State. Look at uh, Akwai Bom State uh, Governor Eno, Pastor Eno. He went to Lagos and we were building a tower, Ibom Towers in Lagos. Ah, ah. And what is the man? Fine man, wear suit with glass and you think they have sense sense is far from them sense is far from them i don't know what you, what you want to tell me sense is far from these people so for trubu's government um you see i i i, I would not say that you are sorry you, you will say you apologize to nigerians for this it is part of the system to carry out to trample on the rights of people to cause havoc, to cause hunger, to suppress the people. That's part of the Nigerian system. So anything that happens, I'm not I'm not shocked. But if you like, let the children be freed. If they like, let them sentence them. Let there be a bill. The judge will sit down. Yes, five five million naira bill. If they like anything, let them do. But I know that something will happen one day. And the system is going to change. I know.